Good morning, everyone. Hi, G. Hi. Oh, hello, hello. You're looking the wrong way. Do you see? So today is a super exciting video because today we are going to be spending a few days at Shenandoah National Park. Gigi is so lucky she gets to come with. So let's go. Here is the door coming in and then here is the overview this is like one bedroom in the cabin very cute uh, got some bears here a little desk and area go to the bathroom here this goes to the other side there's G so <laughs> toilet and then this side we have the shower and then the sink here is the outside view. You can see all of those little buggies flying around. So this is like one half bedroom, bathroom in the center, and then that is another half bedroom there. And then you're fairly close to other people. There are other cabins, and then that side is more cabins. So then here is the back area, picnic table, bear, safe for food. And then you have a little fire pit area as well with the forest. So here it is from the back view. So here we are, first hike, gonna be four miles. The saturation, I'm like, okay, there we go. But then it makes you dark. Now you can see the clouds up there. Gigi, are you excited? Yeah, hello. Okay, we gotta start the Apple Watch to get the stats. So this is the Rose River Falls hike. It is a four mile circuit with a total climb of about 910 feet. You will see the one main waterfall and then dozens of pools and cascades and miniature falls. So fun fact, Rose River was named after early settlers, not for the rose flower. On an old map from 1975, it's called Rose River, R-O-W-S River. So some history, there was a copper mine that was worked from 1845 to 1850, then abandoned. In 1902, the Blue Ridge Copper Co. was formed to resume operations here. Three shafts were opened, all of them are now filled. But this hike was really, really pretty. A lot of little waterfalls, streams, and rocks to sit on and watch the water flow. Okay, ooh, that thunder. So as you can hear, it is now raining. Just made it back to the cabin with the nick of time. Literally, it is starting. Oh my god, it is starting to storm, rain and thunder as you might be able to hear through like the window here. But yeah, we messed up, oh my gosh. We forgot to bring the 360 cam to go on the hike, so we could have had such cool shots, 360 degrees of the surroundings, the hike, the waterfalls, would have been so cool to look at, but forgot it in the car, which sort of really sucks. But yeah, the hike was good otherwise, besides missing out on all of the cool 360 shots. Gigi might be a little bit tired. I think she's afraid of like the thunder and stuff right now. Gigi, are you scared? Oh, baby. Let's go to this side. See, we're gonna cut through. Oh, the lightning. Cut through the bathroom. Oh, no, she's so scared. Poor Bobby. <laughs> Oh, she's hiding under you. I am starving though. I didn't really eat much today. I'm excited. We're going to be using the fire pit out back. Can't really use the fire pits right now because it's raining. So we'll have to see. Hopefully it'll stop raining. Maybe otherwise um, we're gonna have no food basically. The rain has ended about like an hour or so later, I would say. So it's still, we got some light. It's like 8 p.m. right now and I think most of this water is from like the roof and from like the trees it's drizzling a little bit so we're going to try the fire pit
the skewers. And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Restoring everything within. Oh, the sun is coming back out again. How cute. Gigi's mad. <laughs> Can you see me through the window? Hello. Hi, Bobo. Oh, you want to come out? It's a little bit scary at night. You saw the neighbors can't see anything, no lights. And then this side, I guess you can see the outline. Gigi, it's okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, it's like very dark out at nighttime. starting to rain again look at that nice and golden brown there we'll try it it's gonna be hot though it's perfect i think the thunder is gonna happen now so this hike this morning is like three miles but it's like a 1000 foot elevation gain so it's a little bit shorter than yesterday but it's going to be a lot steeper because of this elevation gain so even though it's shorter it might honestly be a little bit harder so for this one it is three miles but that's round trip so it'll be maybe like 1.5 miles a thousand feet elevation uphill and then 1.5 back down to make the three. My legs are burning already. <laughs> Here we have some bear poop. You can see the berries in there and stuff. Honestly, it doesn't really look like poo. I feel like it looks like jam or something. <laughs> Next up, we have the high top summit hike. Round trip, three miles, total climb about 935 feet. And this trail actually is a part of the Appalachian Trail, which is pretty cool. I'm like, mm, okay, maybe one day I shall hike the Appalachian Trail. The view from High Top Summit, from here you can see most of the higher peaks in the south section of the park. So we came back from the hike, we are in the cabin now, and Gigi, maybe in the parking lot or something, just literally right now walking up, started to walk with a limp. So it looks like on one of her back paws, maybe she got stung by a bee or something. We're not super entirely sure, but she is limping or like walking on three legs right now. So this might change our plans for the rest of the afternoon here. Okay, so we had to leave the dog back at the cabin. It's like two miles and we're going to see some ruins. And since it's on a fire road, it's going to be pretty flat versus like the thousand foot incline from this morning so this will be a chill walk hopefully the ruins are still there and they're not like literally nothing to see then we've just done a two mile walk for not really much reason besides exercise this is pocosin cabin it is not actually abandoned but it was built by the civilian conservation corps in 1937. today the park rents out this primitive cabin to park visitors Inside, you'll find three double-width, double-deck wooden bunks. It's a nice cabin, like, nice, and a fire pit and everything. And then your view is like the forest. Wow! Here we have an outhouse. There is the cabin over there. So you can see, this is where you do your pee-pee and poo-poo. I guess people are out here. It says, 
ashes only no trash so another fire pit and then wow this is pretty cool it's all nice and wooden for your outhouse it's so tall too wow next up we have the upper pocosin mission hike round trip 1.9 miles total climb about 425 feet you get to the site of a former church and mountaineer settlement the first ruin is about 100 feet diagonally left it was part of the episcopal mission here not a mountaineer cabin and then 20 yards from the ruined house are the steps of the church the church is gone and its foundation is crumbling but two walls of a small side room are still standing here we are waiting for the sunset yep the sun is so bright. Look at that golden hour. I look red on camera. Oh my goodness. Gigi does not even care. She's just in there in the back of the car. Not even looking in the right direction. She's looking that way when it's this way. I get a little bit breathless. Thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's raining down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. A deer right next to the cabins just standing there in the light <laughs> it just spotlighting itself sort of odd Here it goes now it's hidden but it's still there we're back from the hike Gigi how are you are you so footsie okay are you being cute oh you're just sleeping oh babies Good morning, everyone. It is day three now, our last and final day. So today is probably going to be a shortened day. No hikes too long or anything because we have to drive home. And we have to also see what Gigi is up to, if she's able to walk now or if she is still limping, if she's still a little bit hurt. So we're basically planning our schedule around that. Gigi's not limping anymore. She looks to be walking fine and she's like running and everything. So that's good. We have one last toasted marshmallow to go. This one is perfectly brown and crispy. Bye bye cabin. Bye bye cabin. We're leaving. Goodbye, bye goodbye. Oh, you're so cute. So it looks like this set of cabins, it burned. So like here is the regular cabin and then this half of it is burnt down. So there's like a chimney column made of bricks. And then from this side, there's like a doorway here kind of. So it looks like this half of the cabin building burnt down and I guess they're rebuilding it. So then they like closed down this half and then like the roof there, it's like, all missing and stuff with the fire it sort of looks like those ruins we saw yesterday just the stone parts standing we got her this cute little bandana saying shenandoah bark ranger so you'll always remember this as the time that you got injured <laughs> so we are back home now after that short little trip to shenandoah national park overall it was a fun trip got some good hiking in which is very very exciting first time staying in one of those cabins at shenandoah but yeah that is the end of this video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the youtube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time.